Hello friends! In this bag are a bunch of lipsticks that I would be, um, let's just say scared to wear in public. They're a bunch of lipsticks from NYX. They are wild colors. And I had seen on Instagram recently my friend David, he is makeup underscore whisperer on Instagram and he does crazy makeup looks. He shows some of his Estee Lauder work on there as well. Um, hopefully he will share more of his bunnies on there. But anyway, in preparation for St. Patrick's Day, he had this fabulous green lip on and I thought, ooh, I think I had that lipstick too. Um, wouldn't that be fun to wear? on St. Patrick's Day. And then I started thinking, ooh, I've got a ton of weird lipsticks that I would really like to just put on. And maybe I'll just turn the camera on for this whole thing because, you know, we see weird lipsticks in stores from time to time and we think, you know, what might that actually look like on a human being? Well, I'm going to show you. And I'm just going to draw out 10 from this bag and pull them out and we won't know what's coming. And uh, we'll see what they look like. Here we go. Unzipping, drawing out. What do we have? Okay, oh my gosh, this is the Wicked Lippy in Envy. Check that out, folks. I have never worn a lipstick that color, ever. A little more sheer than I was expecting. Has some shimmer. Isn't it weird when like you see the inner part of your lips? Like that, you know, and then the blue? Honestly, I don't hate it. It's a pretty color of blue, right? Mmm, something about seeing that on my lips. Not used to it. Next shade is... Oh, okay, this is one of the high voltage lipsticks. And this is a purpley shade that I, I really don't wear these kinds of shades. This is called Play Date. Maybe this could be worn on a play date for Belle. The texture of this lipstick is awesome. And it smells kind of good too. But really, really cool. shocked by this shade, you know, initially, but this is probably going to turn out to be the most subtle of the whole bunch, so, I don't know. Next shade, it's going to be, ooh, okay. Hey, this doesn't look too bad. This is the NYX Wicked Lippy. The shade is called Power. Look at that, it's like a, a shimmery mauve. Now, this is like the kind of shade I might have reached for, I don't know, when I was first picking out lipsticks in junior high or high school deep and shimmery for some reason. That one just totally snuck in there under the radar, because though it is a wicked lippy, that's not unlike things I've worn in the past. Swirling, swirling. Ooh, yay, I was hoping I would pick this one out. This is the lipstick in Risqué. This is the one David had on. This is St. Patrick's Day Glamour right here. Green lipstick, emerald green. There's something about the shimmer with this that makes it even more, I don't know, out there. Now the interesting thing about these Wicked Lippies is that they are seeming just a little bit more sheer than I would think, just for the intensity of the color in the lipstick. You know, they go on a little sheer, but you can build them up. Mm. I mean, it's not like this is an everyday wear kind of thing for me, but this particular color, wherever it is on the face, eyes, lips, this is pretty. Next up, next up, boom, ooh, bright purple. This is a very bright purple. This is called Twisted, and this is one of the high voltage ones. So again, I really like the way um, the last one felt. Really creamy, very opaque from like the first swipe. More um, saturated, I think, the color is than the Wicked ones, and there's no shimmer. I'm not against this at all. Seriously, I, I would go there with this. I wouldn't mind strolling around the neighborhood with this on. I mean, what's wrong with that? Purple. Wow, it's like leaving kind of a pinky stain behind on my lip. By the way, I'm wiping my mouth off every time with these Baby Bee hand and face cloths. I hadn't been using them much for Belle, but um, they really are very, very gentle. Okay, next. Ooh, this one is called Cold Hearted. Oh, good lord. I think this is like a charcoal, nearly black shimmer. She's a cold hearted snake. Or is he a cold hearted snake? How's that song go? I hear someone coming. It's probably Tyler. 
I'm just putting on this black lipstick. Don't mind me. Oh, I gotta gosh. finish. You like? It was Halloween. Good morning. You sure we can't uh, get into this? Yeah. I feel like I have to almost be serious when I'm wearing this shade. Yeah. It's mood altering. It is. sinking great. Uh, as my special guest who is about to leave for court, draw out my next shade. Mm -hmm. Wicked Lippy. Wicked Lippy in Stone Cold. Oh gosh. Oh, straight up silver. Mm -hmm. I think I may have actually bought a lipstick in this shade back in junior high. And I throw it on here for you, bub. Here you go. Instant gratification. Hmm. Ice princess? I bet. I could see this being useful for certain things. Uh, it if makes my, like, my teeth look awful. If you dressed as the Tin Man for Halloween. The Tin Man! Bub, Everything's I'm glad place. you're here. Hey, thanks for stopping by. You want to kiss me goodbye now? The old Tin Man. Here. Ah! Here, I'll <laughs> you never know what you're gonna walk into in this room, bub. Okay, we have now tried. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, what's this? This is scandalous. Ooh, teal, mermaid. This is a mermaid color. It doesn't look like it has shimmer by looking at the lipstick. Oh, but it does. Deceptive Frost. The title of my next book. Wait, I don't have any books. In the words of my mother, oh heavens. I feel like it's kind of sucking the life out of my face a little bit. Just a touch. What I'm finding here is that these are pretty colors. I just can't get used to them yet on the lips. Not saying I never would. Never say never, especially when it comes to makeup. Okay, number nine, what will it be? We've had greens, we've had blues, we've had silvers, we've had near blacks. This is, ooh, one of the high voltage ones in Dahlia. Look at this, is this black? Okay, these are really crazy pigmented, so. Oh, it's like a super dark wine color. I just did a very sloppy application of this. But this is like the blackest berry I've ever seen because there is actually some red, some berryish red in that. So for all y'all who want to sport a black, but you want to think that it's still got a little berry, you know, in a way it's more drastically dark than that charcoal gray, but oddly I find this more wearable. Maybe because it doesn't have that crazy shimmer to it, but I don't know. You could totally shear it out. Look at what it's leaving behind. It's actually leaving some berry type stainage. Okay, still a bunch of lipsticks in here, but this will be the last one. Number 10, Wicked Lippy in Mischievous or Mischievous. It's straight up gold. Oh goodness. Yeah, this would be another one. I totally bought a gold lipstick in junior high. And you guys in cheerleading, were you ever like totally in search of your school colors in, in makeup? And it didn't matter what those school colors were, you would wear it? Yeah, I've worn this kind of shade before. There is some sheerness with these Wicked Lippies. I will build it up to the fullest effect I can for you, for your viewing pleasure. Where's Tyler to tell me what occasion I could wear this for? Like I keep building it up, but at certain angles, I keep seeing my natural lip color through it. I mean, I've got a lot on here, but when the top lip isn't hitting the light, it looks almost bare. But one thing's for sure, when you go putting on a bunch of unusual lip colors, it puts you in kind of a unusual mood. Wouldn't this be like a fun party game? You have a bunch of people over and then they have to draw the lipstick out of the bag and that's the color they have to wear the rest of the night? I want to do a bonus one. Just one more for the heck of it. Uh oh, I think a cap came off of something. Maybe not. Um, this is called Trickery. Ooh, It's swampy green. It's olive green. I would love this shade on the eyes. This one's seeming rather opaque. Well, there's another St. Patty's Day option. Maybe you do risque for day, and then you go to this for night. 
Well, folks, thank you for tuning in. I hope you had fun with this because that's really what it is. Could you picture any of these becoming my signature shade? Let me know in the comments section below because right now it's kind of like a shock to the system when you try on all these different ones and I think we've all had even with quote unquote normal shades in the makeup world that we're not used to seeing on ourselves like let's say a red lip it can take some adjustment but even that will start looking normal on you if you wear it enough you know what I mean so maybe that's the case with some of these even the most wild shades thank you for watching I will see you guys later bye